Howdy. All right. This is a little bit of a follow-up on my how to build a globe video on how to make it work to actually get something useful out of it. So I've got the globe here. It's upside down at the moment. And I rest a cube and scaled it. So in order to make this thing spin, here's what you need to do. Let's get out of that part there. Okay. So the first thing you want us to do is let's rotate this thing to get it straight up. Now, you should know that our Earth is tilted at a 23 degree, 23.3 degree angle. So you can pick any one of these numbers and type in X or Y and type 23.3 degrees. And that makes it rotate so that the North Pole is here instead of here. Okay, now let's move this so it's on a one of the, my regions whatever this region is on its one of its boundary lines here on both the x and y axis there we go so it's located properly now we want to res something like this and edit it also Oh, stop it. My earth just tipped over. Why did it do that? Has it got physics? Yes, it's got physics turned on. I'm going to turn that off for the moment. We'll get into that in a second. Now i got to fix that again. Zero, zero, zero. And rotate it, let's say, in the x-axis, 23.3. Okay. Now it's moved on me, so I'm going to have to reorient it in both the X and Y locations. All right. Now I'll do the same thing for this edited cube that I just compressed a little bit and put him directly underneath our globe and then raise the globe up a little bit whoops the globe not our platform up a little bit so that it doesn't touch it eh, about there now we need to put in a script and I'm going to show you the script that I used and got it to work and so if you pause the video and copy this script down verbatim. Oh, and I put that in there. Get that out of there. That, this part doesn't do anything. This is where it checks to see if it's rotating. And if it is, it stops it. I guess it wouldn't hurt. I don't know. Yeah, we'll leave it that way. That way. Whatever, that won't hurt. Okay. So I'm assuming you're not familiar with writing scripts, but this little trick right here allows it to rotate and stay tilted. And so, and here's our rotation speed. And I put this there because at one point it had a title on it, and that clears the title. And this part's important. If you try and rotate your object with this command here and physics is disabled on the on the object it rotates real shaky jumpy and it only rotates on the client side which means it's only rotating in your viewer 
If you turn on physics, then it rotates by the server and the rotation gets much smoother. So this statement right here says when you drag it out of your inventory, it turns on physics on the globe, on, the, on your Earth. And then when you click on it, it invokes this function here, this uh, event clicks on it, and this causes it to rotate with the tilt. If you leave that off, it will rotate up on the global uh, z-axis, or straight up. So if you've tilted it like I have, the pole will rotate around the uh, global z-axis as opposed to the Earth rotating around its pole. Okay, so, some, so I'm not going to save this because I've already saved it. All right. Now the other part that you need to do is if you make it physics, if you turn on physics, which will happen if I reset that script, I'm sorry if I res it, and there's no platform below it, you'll find that it will oftentimes fall and crash through things. So the globe has will have physics enabled and this will have physics disabled. So if you look at the attributes there, it does not have physics turned on. And these things aren't too important, I guess. I don't know. We could we could unrotate it. It's not too important what these values are. But so what we need to do is we need to link this together as a single uh, object. So you right click on, come on, edit. There we go, edit. So that that's selected. Hit hold the shift key down. Left click on that guy and then click link. And then you are probably going to have to change the name of that object because it's going to take this name here. Okay, so let's see what happens. There it is. There's the North Pole right there. Uh, somewhere is in the middle of that white spot. And as you can see, it's tilted. And so if we click on it, There's the pole over there, so it is rotating about the pole as opposed to rotating straight up. And as you can see in this particular version, I've cleaned up the bump maps a little bit and fixed the specularity or shiny parts so that the water reflects the, the sun here and the um, land masses do not. So anyhow, that's the end of the Earth tutorials. I hope. I don't think I need any more. Oh, eh, okay. One more little tidbit. Go back into Edit. Select Edit Linked. Click on that. And then click on the base. And then go into Texture and change this to 100% transparency. So you can see it's there, but whatever. Okay, now you don't need to see that base. And still works. Alright, that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see more of my videos, and click subscribe. And it would be nice if you click like also. See you next time. Bye.